All right, first video, here we go. We're gonna talk about what a friend of mine asked about using Vicks Vapor Rub on your skin. And she had seen an article about using Vicks Vapor Rub and was just kind of curious if anybody else had been using it. So if you look at the back of your Vicks bottle, and by the way, guys, I am not driving. I am just sitting in a parking lot waiting for my chiropractor appointment. So um, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Um, but she asked me about using Vicks on the skin and why that could be something good to use on your skin. If you look at the ingredients on your bottle of Vicks, you're gonna see that it is eucalyptus, camphor, um, I can't read this print because it is super small, uh, but menthol, these are all cough suppressants, uh, things that are gonna make you feel better. But the inactive ingredient in Vicks Vapor Rub is petroleum jelly. It's just Vaseline. Now, some people do have opinions on Vaseline and whether or not that is good for the earth and good for your skin and whether it's going to clog the skin and create pimples and all these things. So if your issue is you don't want to use it because it's bad for the planet, that's fine. That's your uh, particular opinion on it. My particular opinion on Vaseline petroleum jelly is that it's a very pure ingredient. It has been refined and it is not bad for your skin. Whether or not it's bad for the, uh, for the, um, the world, I, I don't know. I don't know, that's not my opinion here. But um, as an ingredient that you can use on your skin, Petroleum jelly is actually really, really good. And the reason that it's good is because it occludes anything on the skin. So if you have an injury to the skin and you don't want bacteria or any other little germs to get into that wound, you can occlude it with petroleum jelly. Now the same goes with occluding to keep things in the skin. So not only are you keeping bad things out, but you're keeping good things in. So if you put petroleum jelly or just you know, grab your jar of Vaseline, whichever you want to call it, if you grab a jar of that and you put that onto slightly damp skin, I'm not talking about wet skin, but wash your face, pat it dry, leave it for a, a minute or so, it doesn't have to be dripping wet, but take a tiny little bit of Vaseline and put that on your skin, it will lock the moisture in. So it's great for the heels, it's great for the elbows, it's great for the lips, it is great for all of your skin. Too much of a good thing is not a great thing, so this is not something that you want to just keep slathering on your skin. Um, but to use it here and there, if you're feeling extra dehydrated and want to work on some crepey skin, um, want to work on just adding a little bit more hydration into the skin, get your hydration on and then lock it in with your Vaseline. Hope that helps.